Hey friends, it's Rosie from iHeartRecipes.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how I make my beef short ribs in the slow cooker. I promise you this is one of the easiest beef short ribs recipes that you will ever make and one of the best you will ever taste. So we're starting off with our short ribs. I have a couple pounds here. Of course, you can get the exact measurements on my blog, iHeartRecipes.com. I also have some chopped and peeled carrots. You can use baby carrots if you want. I have some chopped garlic as well as chopped yellow onion, red bell pepper, and I have some potatoes. So to get started off in this bowl here, I placed my beef short ribs and now I'm going to drizzle some olive oil all over those ribs. Now we're going to season the ribs. Now I'm going to use salt free seasoning because I love the taste of it, but if you prefer, you can use seasoning salt. So once we're done sprinkling in the seasoning, we're going to toss the ribs. We just want to make sure it's nicely seasoned and nicely coated with the seasoning and the oil. And once it is, we are going to walk over to the stove top. Now, look at those ribs. Those are That's enough seasoning. If you want to add more, you can though. So, here I am at my stove top. I have my heat on medium. I did not add any oil into my pan here. I am using a nonstick uh, pan. I suggest you do the same so it doesn't stick. And now we're just going to brown these short ribs. And you want to make sure you sear each side, all surfaces, just like so. Now once you're done browning the short ribs, you're going to remove this pan from the heat, turn the heat off, and now we are ready to start seasoning. Now you're going to need a package of ranch seasoning. Yes, I know it sounds crazy, but y'all, this works, okay? Trust your girl, this is the bomb. Now you're going to open up a package of brown gravy mix. I know you guys think I'm crazy right now, but I'm telling you, it is really the bomb. Now once the seasoning is all over that, we can start adding everything in our slow cooker. Now here is my slow cooker. Y'all know I love my slow cooker liners. It is not necessary to use, but I like to use it because it helps with the cleaning process. I'm using my 6 quart slow cooker, and now I'm just going to add everything in there, okay? Oh, not everything. We're going to add the onions and the meat and everything. Everything except for the potatoes at this time. We're going to add that last. Now I'm going to throw in some fresh thyme. I'm also going to throw in some fresh rosemary. Uh, you can use um, dry rosemary and thyme if you don't have fresh on hand. And I'm also going to add in some bay leaves. Now, once that's in there, we can start adding the potatoes. And your eyes are not deceiving you. I am not going to add any broth or water in this pot, okay? So, no, don't add any of that. So now everything's in there. We're going to cover this with the lid. And we are going to cook this on high for six hours. After six hours, we are going to peek in and then we're going to stir everything. Remember the potatoes are on top. We can just kind of fold those ingredients to make sure the potatoes are with everything else. And then we are going to add parsley flakes. Now, parsley is completely optional. So if you don't want to add it, you don't have to. Place the lid back on top, let it cook for the last hour. And you know what? This is the finished look so good so tender and so easy to make i want to thank you all for watching i truly appreciate it head over to my blog iheartrecipes.com for the exact measurements and make sure you're following me on facebook see you soon